But earlier COVID development, of course, was supporting the increased limits for using contactless EMV cards, which was increased from £30 to £45, which we delivered in time for the change to take effect on the 1st of April, even though we only had a couple of weeks notice that this change was coming. That wasn't our only contactless EMV change in 2020. We also worked with Apple to support Apple Pay Express on our ATMs for both tap transactions, but also retail transactions, thereby removing the need for passengers to unlock their phones with Face ID when using this method of payment on bus. Avoiding using Face ID to unlock the phone also meant that passengers didn't need to remove their face mask when paying for this way. We had no idea when we started to engage with Apple on this, that this would be the primary driver for this feature. 